Ragnarok, the Night Elf here. And yes, yeah. Farseer Headhunters. What a mad lad. Forces are under attack. What's up, uh, Bosmil? An AP coming up somewhere in the back. What is he expecting? I don't know. Oh, by the way, Ragnarok was playing Night uh, Random, not Night Elf, which is why we're seeing Farseer Henners from TS Yod. Force. And Panda, of course, second. This is typical in these situations. Arceer isn't impossible to play against Night Elf, especially against Keeper. In fact, I would even say there is a good way to play Arceer. A favored way to play Arceer against Night Elf. Shown by focus so many years ago now. Well, not really, a couple years ago. Ooh, does he have wolves? He could actually cancel this if he has wolves. Definitely should summon wolves and cancel this. He could split them so they can't be just detonated together. Meanwhile, one burrow going down. Reinforced, not even on the way, so this is just going to be a lot of losses. And the wolves are going to cancel that, unless. Unless. Keep an eye on it. And TP back. Oh! Damn, two more auto attacks from the Farseer, and that wolf gets the kill there. But really good damage from Ragnarok there on the Burrows. It's not going to cripple TS Yogg, but let's do some serious delaying, especially with this expansion already being up and this one only now being started. But the point of the Farseer in these positions is just to delay the Panda's creeping as much as possible. You don't need to get your Farseer too high level. You do need to get your Shadow Hunter 3 and hopefully keep his Panda away from level 3 and then hit some sort of timing when you have that level advantage. is under siege. And doesn't get the gold mine timing, but at least gets one wisp in the meantime. Will this be Panda 3? No, not quite. Yes, Yogg with a really strong timing here. This is what I mean. Panda's still two. Shadowhunter's three. And now Ragnarok has to defend his expansion. And when you defend your expansion, what can you not do? Well, cancel this Great Hall. So this is everything coming to fruition for T.S. Yogg. This expansion's just dead. T.S. Yogg's in a great position here. Ragnarok's just going to use his time to keep creeping, though. Or no, he's going to use his time to actually run cross blind and cancel this. Attack. What a dirty, dirty boy. TSI could just continue his timing and he's still going to have that advantage level 3 against level 2. Not to mention a heal scroll on his end too. Yeah, preemptively setting up wards in an aggressive position. This way if Ragnarok TP's in, he's going to be TPing into like 4 or 5 wards. Not just 0. Would love to see TSI go for reinforced defenses. Preemptively, but the town portal regardless will mean that it's not necessary. <laughs> and see, now he's running into four Serpent Wards, and that's just a result of TSX setting them up right away. This is looking like a pretty strong timing from the Ark. But the Panda's about to get three. When the Panda gets three, he's going to be cooking, especially with that AP in the back. Why is there a Huntress here? I do not know. Raiders will probably try to 
understand this Berserker. Yeah, nice Raider control from TS Yug as well. And a three though. There we go. Oh, four Raiders. You can hold down this Panda. Not perfectly done there. comes out. They're getting caught out of position, but the Moonwells are helping this band the tank. There will be a staff off cooldown. Unless something crazy happens, but it won't. There was a shop in the back here. This game would be for sure over, but TSC I could run out of steam on this push because there is no way to heal up. Anything other than troll regen and shadow hunter with no heal wave. But now he will have heal wave. He should just kill this lore. Oh, the panda gets. Yeah, panda's got full mana. Whoa! <laughs> the heal scroll was a second late there. He got it from the shop and staffed in. There we go. That's what you need to do with these raiders. Arseer for the panda, man. Oh my god. Ragnarok really had no units for a second there, but the panda did enough on his own to at least buy an opportunity. Five still hugely favoring Gesyog, and he has expanded now too. Ragnarok's trying to re-expand himself. Heal wave doesn't save that raider. Purge. Staff is off cooldown one second. And he does save it. Spacefield looks awkward. No, it's actually a really, really nice spacefield because this AP will never be killed. The moon wells are all clumped, so you can use them all at one time. There's an opening. I, if there's an opening here, I would say it was perfect, but I don't know if there's an opening here. But yeah, this AP just makes the space print. If there was no AP, he would just slowly kill everything. Do you think Tietzio is the best European orc? Well, he's the only European orc, you see. So 55 supply. Yeah, he should just double heal scroll and just go in the game. He's about to win this game. He's just got too many units now. And that's the expansion advantage coming through. How does it feel, Night Elf players? A demolisher now too. Yeah, this game is about to be ended. My TSK, all he's got to do is push, and he's one. I mean, Shadow Hunter's almost five, so that could be a thing he wants to get before pushing. But should be able to do whatever he wants. What's up, Kiro? Oh, my foot's asleep. Ignoring it. Don't worry. Oh, pins and needles. Okay, panda. Trying to do it all on his own still, and you know, panda's pretty broken, so he could do it all on his own. Sixty-five versus thirty-one. Do I need to say anything else this game, you guys? Other than if Ragnarok wins, we need to remove Panda from the game. <laughs> Officially. No devour yet. 
five shadow on her. 30 supply advantage. Make that 33. No purges left. This would be the stage in the game that we go, where I would have like 14 shamans and no other units. Get retrain. Now on level 2 heal wave. And triple heal scroll. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this game is about to be ended. Funnily enough, if the panda was level 5, Ragnarok could probably win still. He doesn't even have lumber. He's level 5 on the Fars here as well, why not? And one of these heroes should be dying. Sixty-four versus twenty-nine. This guy's saying, "Why won't you just die?" He hasn't used any heal spells yet. There, he uses one. Okay, here we go. Now the panda's dead. There we go. We did it. And TSCR will win the game. And now we're going to move on to Jessica Grisoima.